What would you choose to start with? Is it going to be structure or a class? What is the problem with the value type? Is it too expensive? Let's try to nail this down in today's video and see what's copy and write. Copy and write is not something new to Swift. It's a memory optimization technique used to improve performance and reduce memory usage when we're working with value types such as arrays, dictionaries, and strings. Value types are copied when they're assigned to another variable or passed to a function. Now this copy guarantees no interference. It's like everyone is enjoying their favorite TV show on their personal TVs. But wait, what if everyone is watching the same show? Then why multiple TVs? It wastes a lot of space and power. Isn't this a problem? Here comes copy and write to solve this inefficiency problem. Instead of immediately copying the data when a value is assigned or passed, it uses shared reference concept, something which is very similar to reference types. The data is only copied when it is mutated or modified. Now let's go ahead and look at the array example. Here we have a print function which would print the memory address. Now let's go ahead and try to create an array, array one of type integer. And let's say we have the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Let's create another array, array 2, and assign array 1 as its default value. Now, if we try to print the value for array 1 and array 2, we would find out that the memory address for both the arrays are exactly the same. Let's see what the output is here. Cool. If you look at the output here, the memory address for both array 1 and array 2 is exactly the same. Now let's try to modify array 2. Let's try to append something to array 2. Let's say we append 13. Now when we try to print the memory address after we append array 2, the output is pretty different, right? You would notice the memory address for array 1 is exactly the same before array 2 was mutated and it still remains the same. But once array 2 is modified, mutated, the memory address for array 2 has changed. So this shows that initially it was referenced when the mutation did not happen. But once the mutation started to happen, it procured a new memory instance. Now let's look at another example using structure. Let's create a structure my struct a. Let's say it has a value where value is equals to 10. Let's create a collection where collection 1 is equals to my structure instance. Let's create another collection where collection 2 and assign the value of collection 1 to it. Let's print and see the value of collection 1 and collection 2. Now if you look at the value for both collection, collection 1 and collection 2, they are exactly the same. Now let's try to modify collection 2. Collection 2 dot append. Let's append another instance of my struct A to it. And now let's try to print the address for both the collections again. Now if you look at the output, the address for collection 1 remains the same, 00D40, 00D40. However, the memory address for collection 2 has changed when we try to append another instance of a structure A. So, this is how copy and write works. Hope you found today's video useful. Let me know if you have any questions and comments. Happy learning.